1958, physical therapy was defined by the World Health Organization as the science of medical treatment through physical means, therapeutic exercises, massage therapy, and electrotherapy. From its inception, physical therapy has been developing differently in different places around the world. Multiple points of reference concur in determining that physical therapy was and continues to be the preferred treatment protocol for multiple maladies. It is currently performed on humans as well as on animals. Physical therapy for animals seeks to improve the well-being of pets and it expands the therapeutic options available to treat their ailments. Today, dogs, as well as cats and other domestic animals can receive targeted care within a professional and rigorous context. Physical therapy is the science of rehabilitating patients coming out of surgery. It's the application of physical tools on patients so that they can get back to their normal life. Dr. Carlos Diaz also talked to us about the countries that are pioneers in this field and about how relatively new it is in Colombia. Physical therapy for animals is the piece of the puzzle that surgical patients were missing, those patients coming out of surgery from fractures or spinal column patients. Physical therapy started a few decades ago in the United States, Spain and Argentina, which have been the pioneering countries in this field. In Colombia, it is fairly new. We have been doing it for more or less 10 years. Physical therapy has a beneficial effect, not just on injured soft tissue, but also on the joints and the bones. That's why it's important to mention some of the goals of physical therapy and rehabilitation in animals. Elimina la causa de la alteración física. Mejora los síntomas clínicos para retornar a su función normal. Alivia el dolor. Reduce la inflamación. Mejora la buena forma cardiovascular. Mejora y prolonga la calidad de vida del animal. Let's now learn about some of the elements used in animal physical therapy sessions to help in their rehabilitation. In physical therapy, we use physical tools that help in patient rehabilitation. You can use magnets, ultrasound, lasers, and everything that has to do with electrical stimulation. The magnet is normally used to help with the pain. It is a tool that helps to relieve pain, just like the laser. The laser helps to stimulate and regenerate, and it also helps with the pain. There is also electrical stimulation, which helps to recover atrophied muscles, muscles that are small or that need to increase in mass. With electrostimulation, you can also perform electroanalgesia, meaning that through electricity, you can manage pain. The results obtained in post-surgical rehabilitation in human beings have been very positive, and for that reason, it was implemented in animals a few years ago. And even though the techniques are performed in a similar way, there are some differences that Dr. Diaz spoke to us about. The basics of physical therapy are the same, but there are some differences with regards to the patient. It's not the same treating a human being who is aware of what's going on as treating a dog or a cat. They are resistant to the procedures at first, they have to remain still against their will, and they don't like being touched by instruments. We normally apply electrotherapy, that is, we stimulate them with electricity, and that is new to them. So we often run into patients that make the procedures difficult to perform, but the principles of physical therapy are the same. 
Dr. Carlos Diaz also told us why it is necessary to perform physical therapy sessions on animals that have recently undergone surgical procedures. All patients coming out of surgery need rehabilitation and physical therapy in order to accelerate the healing process to make it faster and more efficient. Patients that don't get physical therapy often don't heal correctly, or they can take longer to heal, or they can get additional injuries that can generate complications. Let's now look at two cases where patients needed to undergo physical therapy after surgery in order to heal completely. Each physical therapy patient has a unique set of conditions, depending on the type of surgery that was performed and what their pathology is. The diagnosis is very important. Chiara's case. Chiara is a nine-year-old patient that was diagnosed four months ago with bilateral coxofemoral osteoarthritis. We performed an arthroplastic incision at the head of the femur. That consists on taking off the head of the femur, which diminishes pain in the area. Chiara arrived in pain. She was a patient with a marked limp, and although we have not yet seen significant changes, we notice that the stability of her leg has improved. It does not shake as much. We can see that she is a quiet patient. She allows us to perform physical therapy with ease. This is her fourth physical therapy session. She is a patient that knows that we can reduce her pain here. We are using equipment to manage the pain, and she knows that we treat her well here. Dante's case. Dante underwent surgery on his spine. He was operated because he had a condition called cauda equina syndrome. It is a condition that affects the spinal column, and for these patients, we seek to diminish movement right after surgery in order to avoid additional injuries and complications. So I brought him to the University of Antioquia to see an orthopedist. That was around May. Dr. Riano told me, that's not a case for the orthopedist. It's not dysplasia. That took me by surprise. Because he made him walk and he said, the problem is not in the hips, it's the spinal column. Before the surgery, the dog was very down. He was depressed and crying in pain. The truth is that the dog could not stand on his own. It pained me to see him, so I made up my mind and we decided to perform the operation. From the first day, I noticed a positive change. But the change was radical. In eight days after starting physical therapy, the change has been fabulous. I say fabulous because you can see the dog's energy and vigor, the desire to run and jump, of having the life he had a year and a half ago. It's important for owners to understand that physical therapy is a means to help their pets. It is not a procedure that will induce pain. On the contrary, we use tools that will help them live their lives well and with dignity. Dr. Carlos Diaz also made a very important recommendation for pet owners to understand the importance of preventative medicine and the commitment of owning a pet. One of the most important recommendations I can make is to adhere to preventive medicine. That is, we should prevent illness so that it doesn't have to come to surgery, so that they don't need physical therapy. We have patients that end up here because of the owner's carelessness, who don't use a harness or who let them go to the park without any precautions. Dogs have no control and they can go out on the street and get run over by a car. Patients who survive that and don't die can have very serious injuries, spinal column injuries that won't let them walk again, or injuries to limbs that can lead to them being amputated. These are events that can be prevented starting at home. I say that the rehabilitation process is about 
patience. One or two therapy sessions won't suffice. Como un... Just as one animal may recuperate with five or six sessions, another may require 15 or 20, depending on the injury and how it's managed and what kind of care you're giving to the animal. So I say you have to be patient and follow all of the recommendations given by the therapist because that is what is best for the animal so that you don't lose all the work you've put into them. It's also important for owners to understand that the commitment starts at home as well. We usually prescribe exercises and thermotherapy, the application of heat or cold to further treatment along. We can't spend all day doing physical therapy on a dog at the clinic. The owner has to help the animal at home with the healing process. Finally, Doña Piedad and Doña Blanca told us what it means for them to own a pet. So Kiara is my companion. She was at my side when my husband passed away, and she was laying at my feet saying, I'm here. So really, Kiara is like a daughter to me because she knows that I love her very much and that I'm talking about her. She knows she's very spoiled. In other words, she's my best friend. In other words, I haven't found another being as faithful as Kiara. The change has been absolutely radical, and I recommend to people that if their dog develops this type of problem, they should do it, because the improvement is drastic. They're another member of the family. And if you have one, you have to be ready to fulfill all of the responsibilities that come with it, not just to feed them or love them, but to provide them with medical care when they need it. That is part of adopting a pet. There is a responsibility that we as humans have towards other living beings that keep us company and make us happy. 